Your fundraising tip of the day. Recently, I posted two pictures of two different helmets, two different Dallas Cowboy helmets signed by Troy Aikman. I asked our fans on our fan page, what is the difference between these two helmets? One was a, something called a Proline helmet, on-field helmet, and one was a replica. They looked exactly the same. Now, what does this have to do with charities? Well, when you're picking items for your live and your silent auction, you want to make sure that you're going to make maximum profitability in each item. But I'm going to tell you the difference. An on-field helmet is the same exact type of hel style helmet that they wear on the field. It's not game-worn. They didn't wear it, in the, but it's the same helmet. Basically, the um, in the box, same helmet. It has very heavy padding inside. You can't see it, but it's inside. These helmets are made for collectors. They're collector's editions. They're made more for collectors. Now, a, a replica helmet. This is a replica helmet, Chicago Bears, signed by Brian Erlacher. Certificate of Authenticity is right there. Here's a picture of Brian signing the helmet, as you can see. So this is a replica helmet. It's the same exact shell as a Proline, the exterior Proline. However, the only difference is, is inside, the padding. The padding, is it's fake. It's just decorative. It's there to make it look like it's a helmet. But what's the difference? Probably about $300, $300. So when you see this sitting on the table or something on somebody's uh, debt or somebody's shelf in their office, it looks pretty cool. They got a Brian Earl Acker helmet, looks looks great. The Proline helmet, legitimately much more expensive, but it's made for collectors. You could opt to have a Proline helmet, but I can guarantee you it's gonna be a lot more expensive, which is then gonna cut into your profitability. Because the people who are there don't know the difference between a pro line and, and why it's so expensive. So I always recommend going with a replica helmet or a uh, what we call full size helmet. The other ones are called authentic pro line on field helmets. Now, let's talk about something else. When people buy jerseys, they bid on jerseys, autographed jersey. For instance, Luke Kukley autographed jersey, right? There's the autograph. Here's a certificate of authenticity for it. Here's a photo of Luke signing the jersey. Now, what is this? This is a replica jersey. How can you tell the difference? Well, one, there's no NFL logo, right? Inside, no tag. There's no uh, team logo. There's nothing Reebok, Nike. It is called a custom jersey. What these are is basically a jersey that's made to appear near the uh, a real jersey. What's the difference? Well, Nike wants you to buy um, 5,000 jerseys, same player, in order to get 10% off. That's for guys like us. So what we do is we we have we ha create these these jerseys like this, and it's real heavy. It's very stitched. You see, it's stitched in broader. The numbers are stitched. We create these jerseys that, that don't violate any copyrights. They're called customs. But the price of this is drastically different. If we were to get give you a real jersey, a Nike or a Reebok jersey, and it's autographed, the price would be through the roof and nobody would be able to afford it. Um, so that's why people in my field opt to have these jerseys like this. So when you're having a, having a charity fundraising event and you like to have sports memorabilia, you want to go with a replica helmet unless you've got some real collectors who absolutely want it and you're guaranteed to sell it or one of these jerseys. That's the difference. So that's your tip for today. That's how you're going to put makes maximum profitability in your items, in your auction, uh, so that you make more money. Because if you, you pick the pro line or you pick a real, real autograph jersey, the price is going to be through the roof and nobody's going to be able to bid because it's too expensive. And they're made for collectors anyway. Your charity fundraising event. You need to get your guests to bid. So that's your tip for today. Replicas. Go with it. It'll help you out immensely. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.